The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had risen early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had driven seven, seven demons. She went and told his companions who were mourning and weeping. When they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they did not believe. After this, he appeared in another form to two of them, walking along on their way to the country. They returned and told the others, but they did not believe them either. But later, as the eleven were at table, he appeared to them and rebuked them for their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they had not believed those who saw him after he had been raised. He said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat, mga kapatid. Good morning. Happy Easter, brothers and sisters. Pakibati din ng Happy Easter ang ating mga katabi. Yes. Oo, nasa Octave of Easter pa rin tayo. At tayo po ay bumabati din sa ating mga online parishioners. Happy Easter to all of you. And in fact, this is uh, 50 days of Easter from the resurrection to Pentecost, the coming of the Holy Spirit. Some of you have been asking about the words that I have been discussing in our reflection every time we uh, give the homily. Ito po ang mga strange alien words na pinagninilaya natin. They are Greek because the original language of the New Testament is Greek. And we are trying, although we are not familiar with the language, we are trying to at least choose one and reflect on it in a deeper way. Kaya wag po kayo magtaka kung hindi nyo naiintindihan yung mga Greek words na ginagamit ko. Uh, yung po yung original language ng New Testament. So we uh, we deepen our appreciation of the Word of God by going back to the original language of the Scriptures. But we try to translate and also uh, deepen further our understanding. So ngayon po, punta tayo sa word number seven. Word number seven, we have chosen the word parecia. Not the same as Pharisee, the separated ones, but Parisia or Parisian, it is translated as boldness, confidence, courage, katapangan. Nakita nila ito kay Peter and John in our first reading, observing the boldness of Peter and John. Tinitinan nila yung dalawang ito, no? ang tapang magsalita. Pope Francis' favorite word is parisia. Parisia means mayroon kang kumpiyansa sa sarili mo. Hindi dahil sa magaling ka, kung hindi may kumpiyansa ka, kasi alam mo, hindi ka nagsasalita sa ganang iyong sarili. Ang iyong pinapahayag ay galing sa Spiritu Santo. Nakita nila ito si Pedro at si Juan. The, 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 the Sadducees, the high priests, at ito kaharap nila si Anas and Caiaphas and the other leaders of the people, the scribes. Ang tansya nila, nung kinaliskisan nila yung dalawa, they are uneducated and they are ordinary. Ang ginamit na salita ay agramatoy. These are un uneducated people. Paano nagsasalita ng ganyan yan? And these are ordinary folks. Fishermen, ang ginamit na Greek word for ordinary men, idiotai, idiot. Yun ang tingin ng mga skriba, ng mga uh, elders, ng mga punong pari kay Peter and John. These guys are just ordinary, idiotai. These guys are uneducated, agramatoi. But how come they speak with so much boldness? 
parisiya. Saan nagagali ang katapangan ng dalawang ito? Kaya pinagsabihan nila si Peter and John, Uy, kayong dalawa, tumahimik kayo ha. Huwag na kayong magsasalita. Huwag na kayong mapapahayag ng sinasabi niyong nabuhay yung si Kristo na pinaniniwalaan ninyo na pinatay ng mga, ng mga Hudyo. Tumahimik kayo. Ang sabi ng dalawa, Peter and John, kinulong na sila. Remember, uh, the other day, they were already detained for a, for a night. Ngayon, hinuhusgahan nila. The way they did with Jesus, tinatanong nila, kinakaliskisan nila, they were being tried. And Peter and John said, it is impossible for us not to speak about the resurrection about what we have seen and heard, about Jesus, whom you have crucified, but who rose from the dead. It is impossible for us not to talk about it. Ang tawag doon ay paresiya. Hindi dahil sa mayabang ka. Kung hindi alam mo sa loob mo, alam mong sinasabi mong totoo, at alam mo ang pinanindigan mo at pinaniniwalaan mo. And, and, and Pope Francis says, this is the same parasiya that we need nowadays in the church, in society. Na-chope na tayo eh. Parang lahat tayo natakot na para nawala na ng sigla or nawala na ng inspirasyon para magsalita sa mga nangyayari sa lipunan, sa paligid mo. Wala na. Tayo ay na-chope, ang tawag doon sa vernacular. Wala na tayong lakas ng loob. Kasi nga, pagka pumalag ka, kukuyugin ka ng social media, kukuyugin ka ng mga trolls, and this and that, parasiya is gone. At yun ang nandun sa Ibanghelyo. In the Gospel of Mark, Jesus has already appeared to Mary Magdalene. What did the eleven do? They did not believe. Jesus appeared already to the two disciples on the road to Emmaus. They did not believe. And now He appears to the eleven. They still would not believe. Kaya medyo parang si Jesus ay, ano pa bang gagawin ko para maniwala kayo? This was the hesitation and unbelief of Peter and John before Pentecost. This is what we had in the gospel. Even if Jesus told them already, go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature, they did not have the parousia. They did not have the boldness, the courage to talk about their faith to what they have seen and heard. That will come later when the Holy Spirit is given to them. Then they will be bold. Then they will be daring. Mga kapatid, yun ang kailangan natin sa panahon ngayon, lalo pa sa panahon ng pandemya. Napakarami sa atin lulugulugo. Napakarami sa atin, the demeanor is we are defeated, we are disheartened, we are broken, we are in despair, we are hopeless. And we can understand, lalo na doon sa mga kapatid natin na hindi pinalad sa bar exam. And I have been seeing this in the different social media platforms. Nagbubunyi yung mga nakapasa ng bar, bar exam. Pero syempre, nandun yung, nandun yung kalungkutan ng mga hindi pumasa. But then again, without having to, to force oneself, this is just a hump on the road. We have to be bold. We have to be daring. We have to continue. Okay? Bumagsak. Bangon ulit. That's parisiya. Parisiya is the boldness and the confidence. Not because you are good or you are the best, because, but because you know that you have the power inside you greater than you that is given to us, infused in us. When we were baptized, when we were confirmed, whenever we received the Eucharist, our strength does not come from our own human abilities or powers. Our boldness comes from the Spirit who emboldens and empowers us. We can say with Peter and John, it is impossible for us not to speak about Jesus. It is just not possible. Because the Holy Spirit impels us, pushes us to talk about Him day in and day out. And that's the same thing, I think, the challenge for all of us, to have the same parasiya, the boldness every day. Sa inyo po, na mga hindi pinalad, na mga bar uh, takers, may next year pa. Pwede pa ulit magsimula. Pwede ulit mag-review. Pwede ulit magsikap. 
at para doon sa mga second, third takers. Do not give up. We just have to discover where the Lord is leading us. Saan ba tayo dinadala ng Panginoon? Are you ready to be a lawyer or not? Doon tayo hahanap ng, ng, sa Panginoon ng mga tanda kung ito ba'y para sa iyo o hindi. But then again, we don't give up. We continue to be bold and daring. We never, never just say, I roll over and give up. We are bold because of Him who empowers us. So the word for the day, parasia. Boldness, courage, confidence that comes from the power of the Spirit. The dunamis, that's dunamis means power. Dunamis ruwa, that the dynamism, the power that comes from the Spirit in you. At yun ang meron si Peter and John after Pentecost na wala sa kanila sa Ebanghelyo yung ating narinig. Today, I invite everyone, let us receive the parisia, the boldness to continue and never to give up because of Him who empowers us in the Lord, in God. Nothing is impossible. Everything is possible. Again, Happy Easter, brothers and sisters. Happy Easter sa atin. And thank you for coming to our celebration of the Eucharist, to our online parishioners. Also, thank you for attending the Mass, kahit na online. Tomorrow is Divine Mercy Sunday. If you are able, please come to church. It is good to participate in the abundance of the, the mercy of the Lord to be poured out on us in the Eucharist. Uh, for those who are not able, you can join us online. Uh, after this Mass, we will have our continuation of our Bible encounter. We will go to encounter number three. I'll be exploring the figure and person of Simon Peter the leader of the apostles. So that's after the Mass. Of course, you are not required, lalo na yung mga mag-breakfast. Hindi pwedeng magutom. You can go. And also those who have appointments, you can also go. But after this Mass, for those who are online, you can stay with us for our Encounter Word, SMG Word, Encounter Number 3. We talk about Simon Peter. Also, on April 29, we will have our Easter recollection as a parish again. So, hindi lang po Lenten recollection, but we will also have our Easter recollection after the 5 p.m. Mass of April 29. Last Lent, we talk about healing the wounds of our hearts and homes. This Easter, we talk about celebrating the joys of our hearts and homes. So, hindi lang po wounds joys and hopes then ng ating mga pamilya. I hope to, to see you there and let us reflect together on the meaning of Easter in our lives. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may our loving God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Be bold. Be confident. The Holy Spirit with us. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia.